Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 mission. It's wonderful that you are here as we gather together to encounter Jesus in his word, in prayer and in song. We hope you have been able to begin the rosary challenge with us. And already it's been marvellous to see pictures and videos of the rosary being prayed in classrooms across the country. It's time to begin our prayer time for today. In the gospel we're about to hear, Jesus shares a parable about a group of people who behave in a shocking way. Like all parables though, there is a deep and powerful message hiding beneath the surface, waiting for us to discover. To do that, we need to listen closely now as we hear the words of Jesus in the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, listen to another parable. There was a man, a landowner, who planted a vineyard. He fenced it round dug a wine press in it and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went abroad. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his servants, thrashed one, killed another and stoned a third. Next, he sent some more servants, this time a larger number and they dealt with them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to each other, this is the heir. Come on, let us kill him and take over his inheritance. So they seized him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They answered, he will bring those wretches to a wretched end and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will deliver the produce to him when the season arrives. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures? It was the stone rejected by the builders that became the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. I tell you then, the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, Jesus shared with us another of his parables. As we've said many times before, Jesus taught using parables because through them, the deep mysteries of God can be revealed to us. I think today's parable, often called the parable of the wicked tenants, is a great example of how the meaning of a parable might seem obvious, but if we pray and ponder it, so much more can be opened up for us. Let me explain. On the surface, this parable is a metaphor for what happened to Jesus when he was condemned to death and crucified. We know that the Jewish leaders were jealous of Jesus when he came, just like the wicked tenants in the parable who seized the landowner's son, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. The chief priests arrested Jesus in the garden, took him to Pontius Pilate, and the Son of God was crucified. Some people may say that this passage is just Jesus saying, prophesying, what will happen to him. But I think there's more. There's more because Jesus who loves us is always wanting to speak into our lives. This parable holds many deeper meanings. Perhaps this is one. The vineyard created by the landowner could point us towards our own lives 
which have been created by God, our Heavenly Father. The Father, like the landowner sending his Son, gives us his Son, Jesus, to be close to us every moment in our lives. Every day, Jesus comes towards us with his love, like the sun approaching the vineyard. Each day, we have a choice. Do we let him into our hearts? Perhaps, like the wicked tenants, there are things in our lives that stop us from welcoming Jesus, things that block out his love and keep him at a distance or throw him out altogether. The beautiful truth is that Jesus never stops coming to meet us. In the gospel, Jesus compares himself to a cornerstone. A cornerstone is the stone laid first by the builders when constructing a wall or a house. The cornerstone is the foundation which holds everything together. I wonder, why is Jesus the cornerstone? Jesus can be the foundation for our lives. When we say yes and welcome him into our hearts, we build our lives on his love. Jesus is so strong and is with us in every joy and every difficulty of our lives. There's a beautiful poem that I'd love to share with you. It's been a favourite in schools for many years and it's a favourite of mine too. It's called Footprints in the Sand. It goes like this. One night I dreamed a dream as I was walking along the beach with Jesus. Across the dark sky for scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to Jesus. After the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that at many times along the path of my life, especially at the very lowest and saddest times, there was only one set of footprints. This really troubled me, so I asked Jesus about it. Lord, you said once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I noticed that during the saddest and most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why, when I needed you the most, you would leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never leave you, never ever during your trials and testings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Jesus comes to you today. He wants to be the cornerstone of your life. Will you invite him into your heart and allow him to walk by your side? each day. Let us pray. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God the Father has sent his Son Jesus to be with you. I invite you to be still, quiet and to become aware of his presence with you. Jesus is always moving towards you. His presence is all around you and within you. As you sit in his presence, open your heart and be filled with his love. Lord Jesus, thank you that you walk by my side every day of my life. You will never let me down. When hard times come, help me to remember that you are there and will always carry me through. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mark 10 mission this week is to slowly pray about this parable. Think about whether the doors of your heart are open to Jesus. Do you welcome him in or throw him out? The truth is there have been times when we've each closed the door to Jesus, but he's still ready and waiting for us. As you sit quietly, try to become fully aware of his presence near to you. And in your own words, invite him to come into your heart. So Jesus is the cornerstone, the strong one who celebrates with us when we are happy 
and carries us through in difficult times. We hope this week, as you pray the rosary, you can draw close to Jesus and give him permission to be the stone which you build your life upon. He loves you so much and is at your side each and every moment of your day. We will see you again next week. In the meantime, we'll be praying for you. And don't forget to pray for us too. See you later, everyone.